Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. You know when the, ten the, the you ever watch tennis and the umpire is like, quiet, please. Please be quiet. I always just want to yell out and just heckle. Huh? Golf, too? Yeah, golf. Why are they so quiet? Who, watch Who watches golf? Who? Do you oh, are you were mad? There's a, the brave young man. You watch golf on TV? You, you, don't, you do not watch golf. You are the Hulk. <laughs> How are you guys doing? You feeling good? Get the food in you? Yeah? All right. Um, again, what, what I said at the top is that um, I'm, in, I'm really inspired by two things. Nature, which is why I ate outside. I didn't see enough people eating outside except for my friends from Kensington. Where are you? Yeah. We were smart. We ate outside. Uh, so nature and young people. And, and uh, for any of the adults in the room, by the way, that aren't part of this program, leave. Uh, no offense, but this is, this is for the young people. This is young people's space. So I don't want to uh, uh, stand above you and talk down at you uh, again like that. I want to give it back to you. So I just want to, um, especially if you have not talked on this microphone yet, I just want to real quick, like three minutes right here, um, what did you like? What did you learn? Not, not only from anybody that presented on stage, uh, but from each other even. So what did you like? What did you learn so far? Just a real quick sharing um, put your hand up. I see. Okay. Would you like? What'd you learn? Would you like? Would you learn? What's your name? Wilfred. Wilfred? Where are you from? New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans? <laughs> All right. You, have you ever been? Oh, my bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Wilfred, what'd you like? What'd you learn? And you can't say that cookie in your hand. I do like the cookie, but... um. <laughs> Um, I like the fact that any and every race was able to come here and talk and um, wait, talk and be able to share their insight on ideas about the world. And what I learned was that there's many people with different um, personalities and different views on the world and that sometimes they're not able to say it or bring it out to the world. So then them things is not able to be... Um, encountered or uh, dealt with. I think that you have probably the coolest voice I've ever heard, and I want you to not ever stop talking in my ear. That was awesome, Wilfred. Thank you very much. What'd you like? What'd you learn? New Orleans. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? what? Are you a New Orleans person? Yes, I'm from New Orleans. Oh, all right. I was going to slam you. Like, don't correct me. Oh, fair enough. What'd you like? What'd you learn? Um, well, I liked this how everyone could voice their opinion like uh, Wilford? Wilford said. Um, what I kind of learned is that we really don't know what people's situations are from just looking at what they look like. It's really hard to tell what people can be going through. So you can't just take people's faces for granted. Did you learn that here? Yeah, 100%. That's really cool, man, because I, I have uh, a road rage problem. <laughs> like driving, I get real mad when people like cut me off or do stuff. Like I'm an idiot, like a real immature, stupid person. And, and I, what you just said, I had to learn that like a year ago. Like somebody does something crazy to you in the street. Sometimes you just say, I don't know what's going on for that person. Maybe they just lost somebody. Maybe they just had the worst day and they just let me have it. So I just try to find now, let go of that rage and kill them with kindness. Give them a hug. Sean, what did you like? What did you learn? Share. Um, <clears throat> hey, everybody. My name is Sean. Y'all heard that already. Um, I like... The fact that uh, it's so many people who showed up here, you know, uh, I'm no, I'm probably not the only one, but I personally didn't want to come to this because I was tired. Um, but I'm, I am happy that I did. And one thing that I uh, learned is that uh, when things are forced upon you, you may not like it initially, but later on, you more than likely will. Um, yeah, take advantage of that situation. I, I, I just love that you just said, I, I didn't want to come to this. I didn't want to come to this either. You know why? <laughs> I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I didn't want to come to this. Yeah, are we hugging? Oh, I'll hug any person, anytime. Longer. No, because I didn't want to come to this either because I, like Manoush said earlier, it was, it's intimidating talking to young people. I was like, what's this going to be? And I was worried, but I've been coming here for five years and tonight I'm going to do stand-up comedy, and I'm all worried about that because there's all these billionaires and important people I'm going to have to make fun of. And 
I'm worried about that, but I just called my wife, who's on her way over here. I'm going to cry. I said, I've been doing, I've been coming here for five years, and I do my radio show, and um, this is the best thing I've done, because you guys, of what you're doing, sorry, I cry a lot, I do, I do crying, sorry if that made you uncomfortable, sorry, don't mean to make it, I'm a crier, sorry, go ahead, All right, so you can put your hand down. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're here. I arrived. I was just so excited. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was this kid. Me, me. And then when they called on me, I was like, I, don't, I just wanted attention. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got nothing. All right. Yeah, do you mind standing up? Because okay. then the camera can see you. I'm just, whatever she says right now, is like, we're still winning. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'll, I was able to learn that there's still people in the world that still want to make a difference. At my school, there's a lot of bullying, and not, not many people do anything about it, including myself. Like, I, I notice it, and sometimes I tell them off after everyone's gone, but I should really stand up in front of the group. That way, everyone can see that anybody can make a difference, no matter, even if it's just one person, anybody can do it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. The standard, the standard you walk past, the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. Real quick, uh, I could do, I think this is the best thing we do. I could do this for the next hour, but uh, we got we to gotta finish the program. What's your name? My name is Daniel. I'm from Denver. Do you mind standing up? Because they like to take Denver. pictures of you. <laughs> and one thing I love is that you guys, you adults, are taking your time out of your day. I don't know what you guys, you guys, like, I do know what. You guys have been doing so many different things in your life. Um, you host these, like, prestigious programs. You have these schools. And you're taking the time out of your day in order to inform us, the future, the youth, all of us here. And I'm grateful to be here. And that's what I really love about coming to here. Um... So far, what I'm learning is that these issues will not be solved unless we are informed, as um, I believe Rahiv said. Um, sorry if I have that wrong. And if we're not informed, we will not become the leaders that the world needs us to be, and we will not fix these issues, and the world will continue on. It will be an endless cycle of confusion and ignorance, and I'm just glad that we're here so that we could fix what will happen in our future. That's awesome, Daniel. That's awesome. That's awesome. So awesome.